Hey guys, good morning. I'm Yalik, and in today's Boom Beach video, I've got just a couple of hits I want to show you. This is my mid level account again. Um, of note, and I'm just throwing this out there. Uh, actually, I haven't seen this in a while and I've forgotten about this trick, but on my high level account, uh, my Yalik account the other day I had a guy who attacked one of uh, a resource base att attacked one of the resource bases I have on that account and it's pretty much the only one that is left in flux and he and I have been going back and forth with warriors forever it seems like um, he happened or I happened to own it at the time and he uh, attacked and I saw a defend which made me hopeful like hey maybe we're coming to the end of this um, but when I went and looked at what happened, it was just him smoking a whole lot on the beach. And it took me a second to figure out what he was doing. <laughs> so for my op hit today, which I might as well just go ahead and show you on this account, um, I had, I never used tanks by the way, I used grind here. Uh, I wanted to hack these two towers to make it easier for the next person because at this level rockets are really pretty difficult for us. So I had already counted out what I needed to accomplish that. So I counted five smokes, two flares, two hacks, and an artillery. And double tapping. That should remove these two towers. So, which then proceeds to happen. And then we'll continue with the rest of the attack. Also, I made sure that I was going to have enough energy left to to get the tanks down because it was going to be three boats, it was going to be four energy apiece, so before going ahead and doing that, uh, didn't you know, it's a small group, there's not likely to be anyone on to give me a friendly, so basically ran that same attack in miniature on this base, so we're going to have the artillery and two hacks, and that was two smokes, so three more smokes. Uh, I did forget the flare, but it was only going to be three for the second flare, so I just counted it off and that was leaving me 19 GBE which is perfect because then uh, I had enough to get the tanks down and then to do one shock on the rockets and that ended up being very successful so that's a handy trick that I had forgotten about until I was reminded of it and I guess I have to thank Mr. Arabic numerals uh, I'm taking the time to say that because this is going to be pretty quick um, <laughs> because he did remind me of that trick and uh, for that eh, I guess it's worth another week or so of trading this base off and hopefully eventually I get a real defend that would be great um, this guy spawned on my map yesterday and I wasn't quite sure I wish I could show you what his base looked like yesterday uh, I beat him today it actually took me two tries which is stupid because I messed up on my drop uh, I dropped my Zooka flags too high somewhere up here and so they ended up in range of the shock launchers just behind the heavies here and they were getting clipped by the shock launcher so I actually lost so then I had to on the second time I uh, just dropped the flags a little lower but yesterday this base I wasn't sure if it was serious and he was VP dropping or not um, because he had these boom cannons up a little bit more and his other defenses were arranged all around the HQ so I was thinking it was maybe just a really stupid dare but it looks today like he has changed things around so that he is VP dropping. And see the flags for the Zookas a little further back this time. And the heavies are taking all of the damage up front. When the shocks come into play, it'll be hitting them and the critters. And the Zookas sit there unperturbed and do their thing. Which is always fun. Uh, this is why you scout everybody. I scout everybody. Even at this level, I just got a 65 on my map. Scout them because you will run across people who are just giving stuff away and I'm never one to argue with free whether it's in Boom Beach or whether it's in you know my personal life so finally the one real attack I wanted to show you today so that's two good rules of thumb there how to test your op strategy using resource bases and <laughs> scouting everybody regardless because you just never know and so then this guy <laughs> My critters needed exercise, so I brought them out for a walk. Sometimes I think I'm funny. So, let's make this guy go boom. 
Um, I had tried this from the left side previously, and that didn't end up working too well. Uh, GBE was a bit tight because I decided to get rid of that blaster, but if you notice, the shock launcher doesn't really range much behind the HQ. This doesn't at all. This doesn't at all. So we can ignore those. So really, all I needed to do was get out of range of this rocket. Uh, I stayed here on the beach to try to pick up a little bit of extra GBE. I got lucky down here. This mine's going to pop off, but it doesn't actually quite kill my girls. So yeah, at this point, is the strategy is to flee run away and get away from these two things. Oh, this corner is nice and friendly. Look at it. A one hitter up there. There's a couple of flamethrowers and then I decide to handle the mortar later on, but there's not much going on back here and that's a fun thing for me. Um, so, get out of range of the rocket and the shock and we can just sit back here and gather up some more GB again. Uh, by the way, I just realized a few days ago that I must have missed an armory upgrade on this account so I upgraded armory once and I had a second one available so I have actually been working with slightly lower level troops than I should be my heavies and my zookas could be two levels higher so my my armory is finally maxed for this level but I hadn't realized I missed that that was a silly mistake so here we flare to the mortar because I don't want that messing up my attack and then immediately as soon as this goes down the flamethrower there I have enough GBE to flare back because that shock launcher is hitting me but get to the back of the base where he's left this nice little undefended pocket and down he goes that was what a 52 I want to say uh, we'll check that anyway regardless he was some levels up on me. Yeah, 52 versus 42, so I will take that, especially when now I am, I mean, these guys are level 16, and they can be two levels higher, and these are level 15, and they're going to be two levels higher, because we are going to put all of our energy into that. Right now, I still can't upgrade my HQ until I get to 44, which, yeah, that kind of stinks. Basically, those upgrades are going into boats, and all of my gold is going into uh, armory at this point. So, we have a couple weeks here stuck at HQ17, most likely. Anyway, some fun tips, some fun strategies. We've had a great time. <laughs> if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm Yalik, and I'm out. Hope you have a great day.